Yo, what is good, my anime people? To think that our whole entire show came down to a bunch of weird allegations and, or sorry, accusations and people feeling like they're so superior. Um, the show has a lot to give us. A prince that is completely head over heel with himself, that no one is possibly falling out of love with him, and no one is possibly putting him in a position where someone can, you know, get the upper hand on him. He thinks he knows exactly what's going on at all times. Then we have his brother, who is the demon lord, and... Him just being in the presence of the girl that supposedly is taking the prince from our main girl has the holy maiden, and that alone can kind of put him off in the sense of just uh, what he was feeling, right? Even his companions trying to reach out and figure out what she did to the Lord uh, made it so they felt it too right like all of a sudden the presence of the holy maiden practically just can't be touched by demons or it absolutely has a resistance as we see with the barrier as well being um taken down the weird thing about this week's episode is how far they go uh to explain you know her being there, having soldiers sit with her, but then the prince doesn't know who's taking her. Like, there was a lot that they kind of dropped with this uh, explanation. It felt like everybody was in on it to then have, you know, the prince feeling like he didn't know what, what was happening, even though he sent soldiers out to the forest and she was with those soldiers. So how did he not know that she wasn't taken by her or unless that was him trying to play the role of i don't know as long as possible just to save face which is even more disgusting in my opinion but seeing our main character pull up on our girl and pretty much just steal the scene i am happy to see uh where the future is going with the two of them it really does feel like they have a good relationship but unfortunately i when i saw the ending i was thinking something completely different and it looks like they're going in the direction of because the younger brother is such a tool and he can't accept the fact that the girl that supposedly loved him that he cared about which we see they had a lot of history together because of the game already uh you know doing those parts and she came into like the middle of it when uh, this whole situation is happening. Uh, it definitely is interesting to see her input on what she could have been for him. At the actuality, she is never going to be for him because she's already made her choices to push forward with the Demon Lord and stuff like that. But when we see the Demon Lord absolutely angry and on his knees like screaming that he doesn't want to protect humans anymore it's mainly due to the prince doing something in the near future so hope you'll have an awesome one definitely talk to you in these other videos and if you want to go into other details hit me up in the comments and i'll be the first to respond take care and peace